Hello and everyone, welcome back to Tim Brody Rides and Motorbikes. I'm Tim and what I've been riding today is my own KTM 1290 Super Adventure S, which is amazing, but you probably knew that and I'm not here to tell you about that. I'm here to tell you about my new jacket, which sounds quite boring, but I've just bought Richer, Richer, it's that Belgium brand's new top of the line laminated Gore-Tex jacket. And luckily my bike's got a coat hanger attachment on the back of it. So I just want to tell you the features and my first impressions of this new jacket, because it isn't cheap, it's quite expensive, but it's cheaper than the more established competition for what it is. And I really like it already. And it's got a fluorescent coat hanger. So this is gonna be a bit like QVC, except in a lay-by uh, with some disused condoms or used condoms. I'm not sure which is the right word to use. It's disgusting either way. But anyway, let's have a look at the jacket. Do some beauty shots. Yeah, I've just realized that I'm standing in a lay-by filming a coat. That's not how I used to spend my Sundays. But anyway, this is called the Risha, Richa, I really don't know which one it is. I'm gonna go with Richa, Armada GTX Pro jacket. Um, and it is a touring jacket. It is laminated Gore-Tex. It's three layer laminated Gore-Tex. So it gets the Gore-Tex Pro label. And I've had laminated jackets once before, many years ago, an old Hein Garricka one. I don't know if you remember when they had like the rubber zips, which were like a Ziploc bag and they eventually broke. And I was really sad because that jacket kept me bone dry no matter what. And I put that down to the laminated Gore-Tex-ness of it, because if you've ever had a laminated Gore-Tex jacket, it just stays dry even in a downpour. So even if you get soaked, the jacket doesn't actually absorb any liquid. But anyway, uh, let's run through the specs, which feels a bit nerdy to be doing specs on a jacket, but it comes in white, black and fluorescent like this, or black and red. I'm not really sure why I went fluorescent because it's a massive clash with the orange of my bike I guess red would have been worse and white would have made me look like a rider GS and frankly I can't be doing with that now despite the fact that Risha Richer has been a reasonably inexpensive brand over the years they are slowly going up market and I've had their Touareg 2 jacket that's my green jacket that I've used a lot on the channel I've had that for three years now and I've been impressed with it but it was kind of a mid-range jacket it wasn't really very waterproof um, but anyway this is definitely waterproof and it costs, wait for it, 999 pounds or 999 euros. So it's expensive. But I've had a quick look because obviously there's another brand that starts with R, which is uh, very popular in the adventure bike world. And that is Rucker. And their equivalent three layer laminate Gore-Tex jacket is the Nivala Nivala, which is 250 quid more than this. But that does come with a down under jacket. You can get a down under jacket for this, but it's an extra 150 quid, doesn't come with it. And there are matching trousers for this, which is 700 quid. But yeah, it's got some protection. Let's try and unzip it and I'll show you the bits and bobs. Actually, let's start on the outside. Let's start on the outside. It does come with a storm collar, which is detachable. So detachable, I've detached it and you know, I'll save it for winter. <sighs> Gatwick. I didn't think you were meant to be working. Yeah, so sorry, anyway, it does come with a storm collar, big, nice Velcro one. I love them, uh, but I've taken it off because it's summer. So, yeah, you've got a Velcro storm flap on the front of it, and then you have a two zip system. So, you've got a big, chunky boy to start with, and you've got a smaller one on the inside, which I've opened, but there is a secondary zip there. So, you have two zippy layers. And yeah, I'll show you the outside first. You've got these big vents here, which are usually down like that. And you zip this down and that's it, it's closed. But if you zip this up and then it closes by a little magnet there, that little magnet thing has a little knob on the back of it and that slots into a hole up there. And that's actually quite easy to do while you're riding. You've got these almost 3D printed uh, mesh vents there, which are really, really good at cooling your sweaty pit. We've also got vents here on the front of it, um, just normal zip down ones. And then you've got the two big waterproof pockets at the bottom. And they've got this lovely kind of, I think it's a super fiber or super material. I can't remember what the brand is. And these are proper waterproof pockets. So I've got my earplugs and stuff from there. They're really big and they're really easy to use with gloves on because these bits are thick and chunky. So all of this stuff is really easy to use with thick gloves on. And yes, I have tried using this with my winter gloves already because of the weather in summer in Britain is not great. Uh, lots of uh, abrasion resistant stuff on the elbows and there's D3O armor in it. And there is a D3O back protector in it as standard. 
It's fallen off the coat hanger. Let's carry on on the grass. <laughs> I told you it's like QVC. But there you go, there's the inside of it. D3O back protector, full length, and you can fit a chest protector to this as well. Doesn't come with it as standard, but yeah, it's got level two shoulder, elbow, and back protector as standard, and optional space for a D3O level one uh, chest protector. There we go, so there's a zip for it there. Now, it's quite a cool jacket, I mean, literally cold, because it doesn't have a big, heavy thermal lining. It's got no removable liners that I can tell. It's just a nice, goes on, is lovely jacket. And it's got a kidney belt as well. So this kind of wraps around you, or you can unzip it under here if you don't want it. But yeah, it's kind of, it's just a very posh feeling thing. All the stitching is really nice and it feels all of a piece and it does feel expensive. It doesn't have the same crusty feeling as laminated jackets sometimes do have and have had in the past. It just feels light and when you put it on, it's just nice pulling on one thing that hasn't got a million different things in the cuff to trap your hands and taking it off is easy. It does have elasticated cuff liners, so uh, no water is getting up there. But yeah, it's got adjustments for the biceps, some more for the forearms, obviously the cuff as well. And it's quite long, and I have just looked on the website and there's a long and a short version of this. Sorry, getting close up of some grass here, but it's got an elasticated drawstring around the bottom of it as well. So you can really cinch yourself into it. It's got a 360 degree zip and a short zip as well, which I've been using it to connect to my old Richard Touareg 2 trousers. But yeah, let's hang it back up and I'll show you some more things because it's quite exciting. I'm doing fashion. Right, let's look at the back of it. You can see here, it's got a neoprene cuff, which does actually feel nice and soft against my neck. And it's got a neoprene pocket on the inside as one of the chest ones is neoprene as well. So you can put your phone in without worrying about it getting scratched. You've got a big vent here that opens up and one either side there. So it's really well ventilated. And then it's got, I guess this is called a mat pocket at the bottom. I just think of it as a disused fart flap. So I've just had to put the camera down to open that, but there's a really big deep pocket there that closes with poppers and Velcro. So I guess the pillion can put dog turds in there or something like that, hilarious. And then obviously you've got Velcro adjustment so you can cinch it in there. You've got waist adjusters there, which are actually easy to do one-handed on the move. And look at that, cheeky little vent for your armpit up there, which I hadn't seen. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> features of a jacket, that went on probably longer than any other jacket I can think of. Oops, I just took the paint off my top box. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. If I put these down, they magnet on there. And I should say the storm collar magnets onto there. So that's got a magnet in there when that's zipped on as well. So yeah, it's a jacket, but it's, it's kind of got the kitchen sink really. The only thing it doesn't come with, as I said, is the down jacket, which is 150 euros or 150 quid extra. But anyway, I should probably show you what I look like with it on. And I also, I don't know, but I should find out, it came with a present coat hanger. If I got the red one, did it come with a red coat hanger? And if I got the white one, would it come with a white coat hanger? I don't know. Now this is the bit of the video where I awkwardly do a twirl in the label of condoms. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm six foot three, I weigh about 100 kilos, 98 on a good day. And this is an XL and it looks like this. It's not obviously dead sexy, but it is dead practical. Um, so that's about it really. My first impressions of this jacket really are it's super comfortable, super easy to put on and it just feels really well built and I want this to be my forever jacket because a thousand pounds is an awful lot of money no matter which way you cut it so I want it to keep me bone dry and I want it to last forever and it does feel like it will because it hasn't got lots of fiddly poppers and things that are going to rip off over time and I do want to get the trousers to match at some point they've got nice braces and I think I'll look amazing. So anyway, actually on the bike in this is very comfortable. The neoprene collar is really nice because it just doesn't rub your neck when you're doing lifesavers and it's cut quite low, so it never feels like it's choking you. And the storm collar is quite nice as well because it can be reasonably loose and not choking you or making you feel claustrophobic. It's super duper windproof. It is so windproof more than any other jacket. So you do need the vents in summer. But I guess in winter, you're just gonna be able to put a nice down jacket on underneath this and be warmer than uh, my crotch is right now. But yeah, first impressions after three, 400 miles are, I think it's gonna be my forever jacket. I hope it's gonna be my forever jacket. I hope it lasts. It feels like it's gonna last. It hasn't got any awkward poppers or anything that feels like it's gonna rip inside. Nothing catches on you when you put it on and it just feels very solidly made. And 
as I said, I really like my previous richer jacket. I just thought it was good value for money. And I know a grand is probably not ever gonna be good value for money, but I think compared to the competition, this should do the same job as that ruckus stuff. Three layer laminated Gore-Tex. I kind of just want to go and sit in a swimming pool with it. But anyway, I'm gonna go. If this has been helpful, please click like and go down and subscribe to the channel because I've got plenty more videos of actual motorbikes, not coats, coming soon. And just wait till I get the trousers and I'll do a 10 minute review on trousers. Anyway, it's probably someone behind me thinking what a weirdo talking to a camera on a top box. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, go down to the comments and call me the Belgian word for a waistcoat.